Good afternoon YouTube. This is Warbles on a lot and uh, we're on the hillbilly head camera. I'm about to make a bit of firewood for this little miniature potbelly which was actually originally designed to operate on coke. Now I can't pause the camera while I'm doing this so first up here we see a chopping block with a piece of windfall and firewood on it and if we were to use the axe which I keep for splitting wood you run into a few problems with an axe and a chopping block watch this you've now got to go over and pick up the bits and bring them back And you keep having to bend down and pick the bits up. And you run into widely scattered pieces all over the place. And often, if the wood's not quite easy enough to break, not carroty enough, you don't get an even break, as you can see. This has only been cut down to there and the rest of it's broken. And most of that has happened because of this dish out. If you put that piece of wood where it's supported, it doesn't actually cut all the way through. So, instead of having the difficult job of picking up all of these pieces, from the various places they scatter to with a steel axe I tend to use a different method an older method much easier lazier perhaps less work in it but uh, you generally measure efficiency by work done divided by effort put into it and here's another problem a lot of this wood is only just fitting within the tolerance limits and you have to cut it where it balances so we'll put that little pile there and damn shame I didn't figure out when I started recording here we have a stone axe And you notice that with a lot less effort, I get a lot more wood sitting pretty close. Now that one's not going to break. Without a few hits. But you wind up with all of the wood coming down to the right size for the stove. So, unless you really like standing and bending and chasing all over the country for your firewood it's sometimes a lot more efficient to use a stone axe and to have some understanding of physics and leverage And this way, even if you don't have an axe, you can break up your firewood and get yourself a decent source of heat and light. Anywhere where there's a stone with a halfway decent edge. I mean, it's, it's nothing sharp, but it's a functional stone axe. Right, and of course when you've got smaller bits of wood it's even easier and believe me chasing these after you've 
cut them with an axe is quite a pain on the backside. So I strongly suggest to you the next time you hear of somebody described as having a Stone Age mind, just consider the efficiency of an axe that you didn't have to make that minimises the amount of effort in producing and collecting and gathering your firewood and when you've gathered all the food and hunted all the game from this one campsite you can then leave this axe and move on to another campsite and it's only when there's no stones in a particular area that you have to carry an axe with you Isn't that an interesting little comeuppance for somebody who thinks that high tech iron and steel tools are obviously the most efficient. They're not the most efficient, they are more powerful. I can't cut a tree down with this stone axe, but when the tree's finished storing the sunlight, and it drops the stored sunlight on the ground I can sure use this stone axe to break it up there we go, I think we finally hit the camera now you can literally stay with a straight back on bended knee and pick up an armload of stone cut firewood without bending the back which is important because I'm a time expired nurse that's why they let me go from that industry In my opinion, there are still in the year 2012, there we go, first time I've stood up, second time I've stood up, if anybody counted the number of upstandings when I was using the steel axe, I think you'll find I had to stand up more using the steel axe than I did to collect the firewood that I chopped with a stone axe and I can lift the same amount of firewood in one hand that I made with the steel axe for all that standing up and sitting down and then on top of it is what I got with my stone axe. So, sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, alligators and reptiles, you just got to admit that the old ways of life practiced by indigenous peoples around the world were not as silly as they looked to a Euro peon, which is a word meaning landless ignorant peasant from Europe comes, especially when the Euro peon did not understand the technology that they were poo-pooing. So that's probably long enough. I've got enough firewood for tonight. What I'll do with the rest of it is stick it here in the shower where it won't annoy our resident St Andrew's cross spider. But if it rains during the night, I'll still have some dry wood to break up tomorrow. And the stone axe works in the rain. And unlike the steel axe, which on a wet day is particularly easy to slip with and cut your foot, the worst you've got to worry about with the stone axe is a splinter in the eye. Okay? So there you go. Stone axe versus steel axe and the stone axe wins. 
Tschüss.